dude. Sign of the Times, episode 22, from an undisclosed waterway. Well, last week was interesting, but um, before we get into that, for the people that don't know how to follow me on Twitter, and there's only 85 of you that do, Twitter, <clears throat> stupid wind, stupid, stupid wind. Facebook, Form Spring, YouTube, and for the benefit that those of you that only want this, picture of Lila Lodge. Because apparently, some of you only watch for this. Beast, Stompin' Steve, Count Grog, countless others. So, um, no Lila Lodge in person today. Sorry to burst your bubbles there. Apparently some people only want that. Or if you're Beast Barnett, you want me to speak really loudly. Really loud. Apparently. But, uh, not gonna do that. I don't care how many emails I get from Beast. This is the volume you get. Not gonna go any higher than that. But, um, interesting week last week. Any shenanigans afoot? Tons of them. All over. A lot of indie shenanigans. And I, I don't think I've ever mentioned it. I kind of hate indie shenanigans. But, on an even horrible note, more so than any shenanigans, Sugar D hurting himself, so Sugar D, get well, heal up the arm, come back, and if you need to do an interview before you're ready to come back to the ring, you got my number. Just give me the word. We'll do something. I can bring on the maker of such naughty cakes that you love. Come on, Sugar D. You know you want to. You know you do. Your arm's broken. You can't work. You can talk. On a moderately tolerated talk show with that. And, um, besides that going on, I was on the Equilibrium radio show. You probably heard that. Buddy Highway still in my shine. He reached in and just snatched it away. Now, he was probably upset because I disqualified him down at St. Helens, Oregon last week in the midst of major indie shenanigans. PNCW. Who I won't work with again. But, um, Buddy Highway a little upset. Understandably so. Still in my shine on EQ radio. He did? Yes, he did. Now, this coming week, it's going to be fairly busy. Monday, actually, let's back it up. Sunday, Bobby Black on Turnbuckle. If you've not seen Bobby Black, search him out on YouTube. He's tremendous. He versus Jake Oman, some of the best matches I saw last year. Check out Bobby Black. Then I'm going to Beeline it down to Portland, Oregon, 7611 North Exeter Drive. I'll be counting pinfalls, checking for submissions at Blue Collar. For a mere $15, you get Blue Collar Wrestling, a ham dinner, and an Easter egg hunt. Now, obviously, QT's going to be involved in the Easter egg hunt. He's probably going to be punting kids in the head, boom, like he's Randy Orton on steroids. Not that Randy Orton is not on steroids. But, um... QT, try not to hurt the children when you hunt the Easter eggs. Let them find some of the eggs. Please. Now, on Monday, basically three that day, not really doing anything at all, but Tuesday, the lounge coming back. I hear there's some controversies. Possibly they'll get discussed. Pay-per-view. Details were promised. We'll find out on the lounge. Wednesday. I'm kind of free that day, I think. Not really much going on. Thursday, QT. Come up, we'll do some wind sprints. Running some wind sprints with QT on Thursday. Don't mess it up, QT. Thursday. Let's 
meet at the corporate headquarters at, say, like, 10 a.m. for wind sprints. We'll go running. Try to get the cardiovascular shape that Beast Barnett so proudly displays at HPW. Well, that's hard to do because the man's a cardio machine. Or a cardio beast, if you will. Friday of next week, Global Wrestling Federation Reunion. We got Doug Gilbert on board, DG, my guy. We got Craig Johnson on board, working on a couple other people. Last time was phenomenal. Great, great show. This time going to be equal or surpassing that. Global Wrestling Federation, one of my favorite federations of all time. Awesome, awesome show. Going to talk about that great promotion. I Booker T, Lightning Kid, who went on to be Six Pac, Jerry Lynn, Marcus Bagwell, all of them out of there. Great great promotion. Gonna talk all about that. That day also Friday the 13th, so I'm not going anywhere after that. That's just, no, not leaving the house. Bad things will happen. No, I'm not gonna do it. But the 14th, of course, Pete Rose's birthday. Definitely gonna be celebrating Pete Rose's birthday. Might pop in the DVD, Pete Rose Baseball My Way. Later that day, EQ running the show. They're running the 13th too, but I'm too scared to be on it. Bad things that happen. 14th though, I'll be at EQ. Not sure what I'm doing yet. Perhaps on Thursday during EQ's radio show, I'll find out. Get my bookings from the radio. Makes a lot of sense to me. Whatever. Whatever. So, to review, Monday, pretty much free. Tuesday, the lounge, double R coming on. Maybe it'll shed some light on some pay-per-view details. Wednesday, more or less free. Thursday, though, wind sprints with two T's. Friday, Global Federation Reunion. Screaming kids, interrupting, probably. But, um, Pretty much all we got for this week, except for like snapping a business card to Casey Carlisle, which I have, but not on me. And I'm not gonna stop and go get it. Sandra. So, um, snap Casey Carlisle business card will be next week. Casey Carlisle, who I love, I do. I'm not gonna speak really loudly, B. So, just if you don't watch the show, you don't watch the show. It's up to you. I know you only watch for Lila Lodge anyway. You know it's true know it's true. So, uh, pretty much episode 22.